Alright then gang, so we've seen quite a lot now and we've seen how elements can animate onto the screen and an example of that is when a route or a page component first loads like that, it zooms onto the screen, that zooms onto the screen, but we've not seen how to actually animate something off the screen. So first of all, let's remove something from the DOM and see what happens by default. So what I'm going to do is remove the H2 from the DOM but I'm going to do this after, say, three or four seconds so that we can actually see that removed from the DOM when it's animated on. So to do that, I'm going to create a bit of state. And for that, I'm going to use the use state hook. So let me import that from the React library. So I'm going to say use state. And again, if you don't know what state is or the use state hook, definitely check out my React hooks tutorial. The link is going to be down below. But we're going to use this use state hook now to create a bit of state inside this component. So at the top over here, I'm going to say const and I'm going to call this bit of state show title and that's going to be a boolean, either true or false. And if it's true, then we will show it. If it's false, we're not going to show it. And we also need a function which is going to be able to toggle the value of show title. So that is going to be called set show title and we'll set this equal to use state, the hook, and the initial value is going to be true. So the initial value of this is true which means it is going to show by default. But after, say, four seconds, we're going to use this function to update the value to false. And at that point, it's going to be removed from the DOM, the title. So to do that, we'll use a set timeout. So set to timeout like so. And inside here, we'll do a callback function. This callback function is going to run after, let's say, 4000 milliseconds, which is four seconds. So inside this function, all we need to do is say set show title and change that to false right so when we first load the page it's going to be true and we are going to show the h2 when after four seconds we set it to false at that point we're going to hide the h2 now at the minute it's not going to show and hide the h2 because we're not really doing anything with the h2 based on this bit of state so let's use it now to conditionally show this h2 now the way I'm going to do that is by coming down here and in curly braces because we're going to do a bit of dynamic code. I'm going to say show title to evaluate that the logical and which is double ampersand and then in here we're going to place our template this bit here. I'll explain this in a second. So let me grab the H2 and paste it inside here. So this is how we conditionally output a bit of template in React. We can do this logical and to say, okay, the thing on the left must be true in order for the thing on the right to show. So that's how we can conditionally output this H2. If this is true, then this is going to be rendered to the DOM. If this is false, then it won't even reach this and it won't be rendered to the DOM. Okay. So after four seconds, it should hide because remember after four seconds, we're setting this to false. Let's save it and try it out. So we see it there at the minute, but then boom, it's gone. But it kind of just popped out of the page, so we don't get any kind of animation. Now, what if we did want to animate that out of the page? For example, zoom it up off the page or to the left or fade it out or something like that. Well, to animate something out of a component or a page, we use the animate presence component that comes with frame motion. So first of all, we need to import this up here. So animate presence like so. And all we do is we surround whatever component or tag that we want to animate out with this component. So if I come down here, I can surround all of this stuff right here with animate presence. And that's what I'm going to do. So animate presence like so. And then if we cut that and paste it at the end, scoot this in like so. Now we're allowed to animate this out. Now at the minute, it's not going to do anything. And I'll show you that it's still just going to pop out of existence from the page. No animation at all. In fact, it's not even doing that. And that's because we don't have an exit animation defined. So what we need to do is say, first of all, look, we're going to change this into a motion H2. And remember to do that. We say motion dot. So just like when we use the animate or the initial or the while hover on elements, we have to add motion. We have to do the same thing to 
tags or elements that we want to animate out of the DOM. So that's the first step. The next step is to add an exit attribute. So when we use animate presence to surround something, we can then add the exit attribute to the thing that we're trying to animate out. And this exit animation is just an object like the animate attribute or the initial attribute. And all we need to do is define what we want to animate. Well, in our case, I'm going to say that the Y position is going to be minus 1000 pixels and that should shoot it up off the top of the screen. But we could do something else like opacity. It really doesn't matter entirely up to you, but I'm going to do this. And therefore, when this is false and when this is therefore removed from the DOM, the animate presence knows to look for this exit attribute and use this animation to take it out of the DOM. So if I save this now and come over here, hopefully after a few seconds, we should see it zoom up there off the page. Awesome. So that is how we animate elements off the page using animate presence. Next up in the next tutorial, I'm going to use this idea of the animate presence component and the exit attribute to exit whole pages from one to the next.